Hi there, I'm Jen Rumbalski. I'm the director of the La Crosse County Health Department. And today I'm going to take you through the new regional dashboard called uh, Cooley COVID-19 Compass for our region. The region includes Buffalo, Trempolo, Jackson, La Crosse, Monroe, Vernon, and Crawford counties, as well as a regional total. Um, so I'm gonna take you to that dashboard and show you around and how to navigate it. So you should now be seeing the dashboard on your screen. And what I'd like you to note here is that um, at the top, these uh, are navigating bars that you can hover over and you can click one of these to go to any part of the dashboard. So if you're familiar with how this has worked in the past when La Crosse County had its dashboard out, it is similar in the approach, but it just looks a little bit different. Also of note here is that each county that is part of this collaborative process um, has its logo and you can click on the logo to go to that county's website. So just to start with the overall Compass dashboard on the first home screen, this is what you will see. And the first um, interactive ability with this dashboard is that you can select on this drop down box, you can click on any of these counties as well as the R region tab. So it automatically defaults to be in the R region. Um, at this time, it's showing that our region as a total is in severe risk, and it indicates the period that it ends on, which is yesterday. Um, and then we always end on, the, on a Tuesday and update the dashboard on a Wednesday. Then it will tell you again, um, for the three buckets of data, we have epidemiology, healthcare status, and public health status. I'll go through briefly what each of those includes in terms of metrics, um, but basically it will tell you an indicator light for each of those buckets of data. Those roll up into the total regional status. Um, at this time, again, our region is in red. Um, it is because total numbers of cases um, and other case-related information in the epidemiology status indicator have gone up and have put us into red. Um, in the public health status, um, predominantly the reason for this red right now is because there are personal equipment requests that have not been able to be filled, indicating a gap in personal protective equipment, um, as well as um, some, um, some data moving towards uh, a concern with regards to um, the ability to get cases in quickly from the labs and the ability to reach cases and contacts in a specified time period. There's a lot that goes into that um, and it really is a partnership with the individual who is a lab confirmed case as well as the contacts um, in order to get that information from them in a timely fashion and to be able to reach, excuse me, reach those individuals and have that in, uh, conversation with them to, to decrease risk. So then if you scroll up at the top again, current status and recommendations, this next bar is really the table that shows the individual recommendations here in this table and then below businesses and establishments. You'll note here that you can toggle again between our region, it automatically defaults to our region. If you wanted to change this to Buffalo County, for example, it will show you Buffalo is in orange, um, you could change this to Monroe County, and this would show you, um, you know, Monroe County is also in orange. Um, some counties are in other colors as well. So you can toggle back and forth between whichever area you're looking for. Then you use that color to determine um, what you what the recommendations would be. So if I was looking to have a social gathering um, with a few people, um, if I noticed here that this was indoors and we're in orange for our county, um, then I would see that I, I needed to keep it to 15 or fewer and we would all need to wear fabric face coverings and physical distance um, with the six feet between individuals. If we were in red, we would not be having gatherings outside of the household um, and so on. So you can see the recommendations and how they change by the color. In addition, when you scroll down, um, you can see the areas uh, across the, the, um, the, un the United States as well as the world, any crews, and then areas in Wisconsin and Minnesota. It gives you some indication as to travel risk. 
and then the recommendations for businesses and establishments. So there's a lot of information in here um, based upon what type of business or establishment you're in. So I encourage you to look through that further um, for more information. The how it works tab shows you generally how, um, what, the, what data is in each bucket. Um, so in epidemiology, we're looking here at um, the daily tests that meet surveillance targets. So how many tests do we need to be doing in our area? Um, the percentage of positive tests and if they're stable over time. Um, and then 10% decrease in new cases is the goal and doubling time of numbers of cases doubling. How long does it take you to double your numbers? We want that to be six days or more. In the healthcare capacity bucket, we're looking at hospitals being prepared for surge. This looks at things like um, how many ventilators and um, access to equipment, including masks, how many um, uh, ICU or um, intermediate care beds are available, and then severely ill patients adequately cared for, so this looks at um, you know, hospitalization rates and mortality rates or death rates. In the public health bucket, again, this is about cases being referred to us within 24 hours, being able to reach cases in 24 hours, being able to reach contacts in 24 hours, and um, making sure we can fill personal equipment requests. Um, then when you scroll down further, it will tell you um, based upon that information, if one or more of those areas of metrics are um, not met, um, that can change the indicator light in each of these buckets. And then lastly, it determines the risk level. Um, so are any categories red? If yes, is it one category or is it two or three categories? And you can see then how this light is calculated. Again, this always defaults to the region. So if you um, click between here, um, for example, if we move to Crawford County, um, all of these indicator lights will change to the data from, from, I'm sorry, Crawford County, to the data from Crawford County. Back up to the top, the epidemiology status page, um, very interactive with this regional dashboard. So um, again, the four metrics in this page will show up defaulting to the region. You can change it to whichever county you want. Um, it shows you where we are at in each of those four indicators. Um, the total uh, epidemiology bucket light um, you can toggle here as well by date, so you can see over time how has this data changed, so May 5th versus um, the most recent update of June 9th. Um, there are a number of maps that you can look at here, so the first one is daily tests as a percentage of surveillance. You can look at the percentage of tests that are positive, the percent change in new cases, and the doubling time. And um, you also can toggle, you can um, hover your mouse over and see any of the counties um, and what their percentage is for that particular map. Um, it shows you percentage of positive tests. Again, this is for the region because it defaults to the region. Um, and then it will also show you the daily testing gap. Um, so uh, the baseline bar here indicates the testing goal. If we go below the bar, that means that for that day, we exceeded our goal by a certain number of tests. Often you will see this happen if there is a testing event, such as a community event, um, or long-term care facilities doing a lot of testing or an outbreak at a business that requires testing. Over time, you can see that we have decreased um, the gap between how many tests we, um, want, we, we are trying to do and how many tests are being done, so that's good. There are other graphs available as well, so total COVID-19 tests, overall case rate, and new case rate. A lot of information that you can look through here. So again, healthcare status tab, um, has information available. Um, this is only available at the regional level, so you won't have the ability to toggle through um, county level data because it's calculated at a region level. The public health status tab um, is available by county and the region, again, defaulting to the region. Um, this tab is new, this case data tab. For now, this is information for just La Crosse County cases. Over time, though, if we can get data from other counties, we will add other county data to have an overall picture of this. It tells you the average or the age of cases that we've had so far, the gender breakdown, the race breakdown. At the bottom here of each, of each item, it will show you how many is the total of um, individuals in that set. So we currently have 98 cases because 15 came in today. 
some of those are not included in here, um, obviously, because we're still calling those cases and getting this information. Um, in addition, we have the severity of COVID-19 cases broken out by percentage, um, recognizing some are asymptomatic. Um, origin of COVID-19 cases, uh, over half um, are not related to a close contact, either travel or community spread. Municipality of COVID-19 cases, so this is broken out. Um, and recognize we would anticipate having more in some of these areas because those are our population bases. We have more people in those areas. Um, so just to note that if you looked at this as a rate instead of percentage, um, uh, Onalaska, Holman, and La Crosse, for example, would be very similar in rates. Um, and then the public outing area, so we can see how many um, of our cases were not in the public either before or after symptoms began. And we look back a 48 hour time period from when symptoms start, and then how many have been um, in the community before symptoms began, as well as after and both before and after. Um, and then back up to the top, this is the isolation and quarantine flow chart. Um, it is uh, sort of a busy chart, but there are folks in our community who utilize this to determine um, decision making in, in terms of individuals, particularly who may have been exposed um, to COVID-19. So in total, that is the regional dashboard. And again, um, the address for that dashboard is covid19compass.org, and this will be updated every week on Wednesdays. Uh, I hope this was helpful to you, and um, we, we certainly hope that giving you this information will help you make good choices, and we encourage you to continue um, to follow the guidelines as indicated in the current status and recommendations tab based upon um, where our current status is in a county and at a regional level. Thank you so much.